artist found the perfect man to use as a model. This model um, it seemed to be perfect for her needs, and so you'll see that he's used again and again. What's extraordinary about this is if you ask yourself, how often have you ever seen an Afro-American male um, depicted nude? You'd have to say that very seldom have you ever seen uh, anything like this, if ever. that this was almost kind of like a body cast, but this is not. This was all done in the clay, and then, of course, a, a mold was made, and, uh, and then the finished bronze piece. Her work really has a very uplifting, very, you, you break away from the things that bind you, you break away like a cocoon, you come out of your cocoon, you are seeking help, you're seeking um, knowledge, and then you finally become a completed person. The piece that has the casting on it, uh, is very important to her because here he is emerging uh, as in all of her work she likes the idea that the you can actually see as she sees when the piece comes out of the casting the excitement of what is underneath and it allows you to sort of fill in what the finished perfect piece would look like As some people know, artists um, lived in uh, Los Angeles for a long time. And uh, when she was um, walking along the beach one day, she saw this beautiful girl running. And she thought, wow, that girl would make a wonderful model for my women. And she approached her and talked to her. And as it turns out, the girl was an Olympic hopeful and actually was a runner-up uh, in one of the Olympic uh, tryouts. Well, uh, as we continue along, you'll see many, uh, many sculptures using this woman as the model. artist always does uh, two models of each uh, piece.
Here you see she'll do one with the casting part still on it and the sprueing, and then another that is totally finished and then dark, darkened with the patina, the black patina. So here is this joyous woman uh, representing all women, all womankind, and um, a very, very uh, sensual and very nice to touch and feel. In this piece called uh, New Birth, the same woman is modeling for this, but this was uh, something that artist was very um, excited about because her own daughter was uh, ready to have a baby. This is a very uh, interesting piece because the mold part actually makes the background for this and it almost looks very futuristic. This uh, piece called The New Woman uh, is an exciting piece because, of course, many people will think about um, the version of this done by Leonardo da Vinci of the man, but here you see the woman. Uh, this uh, sculpture is finished uh, to an almost satin finish, unlike some of her other uh, sculptures. Everything about her sculpture is very enlightening. Her work really has a very uplifting, very, you, you break away from the things that bind you, you break away it like a cocoon, you come out of your cocoon, you are seeking help, you're seeking knowledge, and then you finally become a completed person. That's a very important Thing to artists is the whole spiritualness of the human being.